Welcome to the Kobe Bryant Film Room. And uh, this is gonna be part two of my series. <laughs> this is, this shit, <laughs> this shit actually turned into a series, y'all. I expected this man to shut the fuck up. But uh, this is part two of Gilbert Arenas, A Stupid Genius, right? Like I said in my last video, Gilbert Arenas uh, says stupid shit to get attention which is genius, right? Because he knows if he talks about Hakeem Olajuwon or any other legend, that we're gonna speak on it. And we are gonna speak on it. After all, this shit is entertaining at this point, right? But I think it's time to take some of the gloves off of Mr. Gilbert Arenas, right? Because he's been too disrespectful. And we know he doesn't really mean the shit he says but he says it to bring in a certain audience and we gonna get into that. This is, <laughs> I'm sorry, but nobody doing this shit no more. All you old son bitches, stand down. Nobody, nobody want the Hakeem Elijah one Scott look. Nobody want none of that shit, all right? Let it go, stick it. So this is, this is, um, this is pure entertainment at this point. A lot of people uh, I read in the comment section, yeah, Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert. Oh my God, Gilbert's so funny. He's such a fucking great guy. And I didn't know Gilbert was this hilarious. You know why? Because motherfuckers are stupid. They want to be entertained. Stupid people like to be entertained, right? Intelligent people like to be informed. But stupid niggas will go all through uh, all types of lanes. Right, we'll take, uh, we'll we'll do anything to seek out entertainment, and there's nothing wrong with entertainment, right? But dumb niggas, that's all they look for is shit that entertains them. That's why they don't know shit, right? When it's time to save their ass, they can't save their ass because they don't know shit. They're watching niggas like Gilbert Arenas dance around like a clown with bells on his hat, right? So. Gilbert Arenas, like he said, he's talking about old niggas, right? He's very disrespectful to the people who paved the way for him, right? He's talking about old, old niggas and you, people ain't trying to do this shit no more, putting the ball through their legs and all that stuff and do the hook shot. And Gilbert, um, you can try and entertain these kids, right? As being the old nigga who is trying to get attention and likes from the young niggas. But at the end of the day, these young kids don't respect anybody, right? So you could be a clown for them all you want, right? What you're doing is, I know you, you're just being an entertainer, right? You're doing what's gonna get people to watch. You're doing what makes money and you're doing what, what, uh, uh, what with, you're doing what sells, right? There's nothing wrong with, with making money, but bro, do it in a respectful manner, bro. Make your money honorable, in an honorable way, bro. Don't go out like this, Gilbert. You were a really good basketball player, bro. An all-star in the NBA. Now you're a clown, bro. You're a clown for the younger generation. You are, bro. And it's sad to see niggas like you in this light. Them niggas look at you, they tune into you to laugh, bro. You should be ashamed of yourself, charging these young whippersnappers 50. When you came in the league in 1984, you wasn't getting 50,000 a day. <laughs> he's trying to make your money back due to you. And he's, he, the, the players back then are part of the reason why you made as much money as you did, sir. Because a, a shop jacker of your caliber wouldn't have been making all that money back then, the millions that you made, sir. So you should, at least you could do a shut the fuck up about Hakeem Olajuwon. Giannis, no! But what about the fucking money? There is no fucking money. No, I'm all for trainers getting their money a week. You know how many big men went there? Hey, I'm, bl I'm blaming Hakeem Olajuwon for the reason we lost Big Ben. Uh, the reason the five men is gone is because they go on the motherfuckers from the 90s and 80s learning their motherfucking moves. No. So, Hakeem Olajuwon, not only just for the 90s and 80s, Hakeem Olajuwon has the greatest footwork of all time out of all big men. 
right? So why not go to somebody who has the greatest footwork of all time, right? You sound stupid. Hakeem has better footwork than guards, right? There are a lot of guards, right? So why not go work out with him? With basketball's about footwork. Look at Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is not just a great ball handler. He's also great with footwork. Oh, 50,000. 50,000 foot. 50,000 is a penny. It's pennies for Giannis. 50,000. Kareem, uh, Hakeem is not going to waste his fucking time doing anything other under 50,000, bro. He, he values his time. And he is a man, bro. Men don't speak on other men and how much money they make and how much money they 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 sell a, a product for, bro. Like you sound like a clown, bro. Rook all back, you're good. Just go, go back to the basics, huh? You doing fine, Giannis. Fuck that. I'm sorry, Giannis. So this is the same nigga who criticized Giannis for not for not being great at different moves, right? But now he's sitting up here telling Giannis not to go become better at different moves. But I would not let you spend 50000 for that. You fine with this shit. <laughs> Keep that shit, all right? Yo. And see, this is clown shit that everybody's consuming on a daily basis. This is my issue with the modern media. And some players are guilty. I, I want to say this. This, this. this comment right here is directed at you players out there. You basketball legends who sit back and y'all let this man constantly degrade basketball players, right? Before you guys, right? The ones who paved the way, you guys who sit back and don't say shit, y'all are guilty as well, right? Y'all are pieces of shit and y'all are cowards. Y'all let this man sit here and tear down men of the past, bro. You got J.J. Reddick talking shit about Bob Cousy, and Bob Cousy don't even, he ain't even say nothing. He ain't do nothing. He's chilling at the house, and he's getting disrespected. Larry Bird hasn't made any comments recently. He's getting disrespected and brought in discussions that have nothing to do with him, right? That shit that has nothing to do with him. Big man, kid, that's, that's the dream shake for you. For you, that's the dream shake. Because the big man, right, he was faster than Shaq, and he was Jimmy and Shaq, you got so our legends are being attacked by guys like this. Clowns. From the three, the three point line. He wants to entertain the young kids, right? Because this is what the young kids do. They don't even love basketball. They just want to laugh and dick rod somebody who they love, right? The player who they love, the players who they choose to love, right? They don't give a fuck about the history of basketball. They disrespect and tear down everything in the history of basketball. The NBA second line, that's you. 50,000, come here. I teach you all that shit. Look. So that's jealousy, right? So, hey, come here. I'll teach you. Give it to me. Let Hakeem live, bro. You don't gotta hate. I got moves. I got moves. I'm still simple. I got moves on top of moves. I don't even know. I got, I got books on top of books on moves. I this keep no shit. shit, bro. What? Fifty thousand? It's over nine thousand. What for forty-five grand? I give you the upgraded version. Is y'all serious? Hakeem, dream, dream team. I need a dream. Read, dream every decision. Do not charge these boys over nine thousand. Fifty fucking grand. Oh. They're not boys, first of all, they're grown men. And if they want to get better and they pursue Hakeem, then Hakeem has the right to give them a a, a, uh, a cost, sir. Hey, this is good. This is what it's gonna cost for my services and for my time. Yes, I have other shit, other businesses that I'm dealing with. We for that bullshit. He ain't been good since the 90s. That means no, no. you haven't been good ever. The only thing you were great at is scoring. You have one 60-point game that you hang your hat on. For you to call out somebody that's way better than you, you're not even in the class to call out Hakeem. You're not even in that class. You're not even in the, the, the caliber below Hakeem. You're like three notches or four notches below Hakeem Olajuwon as a player. You calling out Hakeem Olajuwon is it, like a fucking trailer 
a nigga from a trailer calling out a president. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is you being disrespectful, Gilbert, is the reason why I'm trying to be disrespectful to you right now. Because you don't have to go this route. Hakeem's not saying nothing to nobody. He ain't said shit. All he did, Giannis pursued Hakeem and wanted to learn more. Hakeem charged him 50 grand. And it shows commitment, right? Because I know if you're paying, then you're not wasting my time. Because you don't want to waste your own time. He don't know. 2010. He don't know. 2020. He don't know. He don't know. Who the fuck he gonna do the moves on? Wimba Yami? What you need a dream shake for Wimba Yami? He he weigh this much. He weigh this much. Hey, fuck out of here. Yeah, he don't. You ain't, you ain't gotta do none of that on this smoke. Now Gilbert. <laughs> I I I, I want to say this about Gilbert, y'all. Uh. This is supposedly designed to be funny, right? This is designed to be funny. Uh, I take it as a little skit, but it's still distasteful, sir. You're still being rude. You're still being condescending. You're still being arrogant, right? And I'm just asking you, leave these legends alone, man. Let them enjoy their retirement, bro. They didn't ask to be put in these conversations, bro. Let them enjoy that they, they, the last couple of years of their lives, man. Why do they got to hear their name being disrespected online for absolutely no reason, bro? If you want to pay for it, then don't pay for it. But Giannis values it. Giannis is going over there. LeBron valued it. Right? The nigga who your, your face is attached to his ass, he valued it. Kobe Bean valued it. So obviously, there's a level of greatness. Dwight Howard valued it. All these players who are better than you, sir. So once again, man, I just want to say this, right? This is going to be the end of part two of the Gilbert Arenas, a, 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 a stupid genius, right? Uh, Gilbert, stop, man. Leave these dudes alone, bro. You can entertain in a different way. You don't got to be condescending, bro, towards the older generation. If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't fucking have your career that you had. If it wasn't for Magic Johnson and Larry Bird to those guys saving the NBA, who you disrespect the 80s, saving the Isaiah Thomas fighting for players and saving the NBA, your ass wouldn't be getting paid that much. And you'd be working at Home Depot. You'd be doing something else. So I have a little bit of respect, Gilbert. Um, I want to be optimistic and hope that you will, but I know you're not. It's too much money involved. But this is the Kobe Bryant Film Room, and I'll holler.